Should I comfort him? Yeah, I mean, sure. I know it hurts right now. It kills me just as much not being able to remember the people. Um, the, <laughs> the people, the brothers. Yes, by popular demand, our little secret is back on the Taboo app. So if you've never seen this before, this story is crazy. <laughs> From what I remember, so what happens is our character wakes up. She's in the hospital and she has woken up with amnesia. She knows nothing. I think it's like the five, last past five years she has like no recollection of, except the plot twist is she's pregnant. But that's not the real plot twist. There's more plot twists coming at us. She's pregnant. So it's like, okay, and her fiance, her husband, I don't remember which one it is, comes in. He's seen, he's handsome. He's sweet. He's all that and stuff. He's like, oh, I'm so happy and you're pregnant, blah, blah, blah. Well, then come in, comes in another person, his brother, who also is claiming the baby is his. So what happened that led to this incident? We were both brothers. Whose baby is it? What is this dark secret they are keeping from us? We got to find out. I need to know. I need to know. I've missed this story. I know some of you have missed it. I know it's not that popular on my channel, but some people have missed it. I've missed it. So we're going to do another chapter and see what happens. But I hope you guys are excited. And without further ado, let's start the taboo drama. So this is chapter six, Hopeless Romantic. So Leon paid us a visit, but he's keeping dark secrets from us. What secrets, Leon? What are you keeping from us? Oh, I've got a massive headache. I barely got a wink of sleep last night. Oh, and she found the plane tickets. There was plane tickets locked in a drawer. So she was going to get on a plane somewhere and elope with somebody. But who? Who? And why does she have amnesia? I wonder if somebody did something. Just a thought. I couldn't stop wondering about those plane tickets. Girl, me either. I've still been thinking about them plane tickets months later. My phone, but oh, my phone actually buzzed. That's a little scary. Alerting me to a new text message. I also saw that Taboo got some new lit stories like Swipe Right. If you want some more Taboo, let me know. Highest sleepyhead. How are you feeling on this fine morning? So Amber is our like BFF. Honestly, I feel low-key. We're feeling miserable, but we're going to be positive. We're not going to like start throwing our problems out there. I feel fan-freaking-tastic. Just great. Oh, she's she's kind of going there. You know, living the life. All that good stuff. Yeah. Somehow I'm not buying that. What's up, hon? I just have a lot on my mind at the moment. Okay. <laughs> so I was saying, I'm like, okay, that's, that's great, girl. I feel like I understand my past less with each passing day. It sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. I think I know something that will take your mind off all the troubles. At least for a little while. What do you suggest? Let's go shopping. Sure, that sounds fun. Why not? It's better than staying home all day. Plus, I need some new clothes before my baby bump starts showing. Ooh, you'll be one sexy mama. Coming over to your place in 20 minutes. All right, I'll be ready. Okay, the moment we arrive at the mall, Amber is dragging me to every boutique in sight. We eventually enter her favorite store, the one she occasionally submits her own designs for. Look at Miss Thing. This place looks incredible. You can even see celebrities buying clothes from here. Oh, we're in like a posh little place. A lot of the items are pretty high quality and trendy. I set my eyes on the most beautiful outfit I'd ever seen as Amber starts searching through the racks. Hopefully you brought some racks yourself, Bella. I should try this on first. I select the outfit from my shelf and into the dressing room. Feeling excited, I briskly slip on the outfit and gasp at my own reflection. She's like... <gasps> I think I look cute in this. Let's see what Amber has to say. I walk out of the dressing room and instantly spot her measuring a purple sequin dress against her petite frame. When she notices me, she looks me up and down and gives me a thumbs up. Okay, that's a pretty cute outfit. If you feel comfortable in it, you should get it. Yeah, I think I'll get this one. Great, now do a little twirl and I'll take a photo. She grabs her phone and aims it at me. I do as she says and we have a fun doing a few model shots. A little fun time. We purchase our goods and decide to visit the food court next. Oh, my favorite part. Let's get some food. I decide it might be a good idea to ask Amber about the plane tickets. I know she said we weren't as close before my accident, but still. Maybe she has some idea as to why I have the tickets. Hey, Amber. Before the accident, did I ever mention that I was planning on taking a trip to London? You were going to leave the States? Oh, don't freak out. Oh, no, she doesn't know. Girl, no. We need that tea, but I... Amber did say that we weren't really close for a couple years recently, you know, so. I found two plane tickets in my bedroom and don't know why I would have booked them. I... I need a minute. She sits down seemingly stressed out. Girl, what? 
what's wrong? I can't believe you were going to run away. I should have been there for you as your best friend. <laughs> what? Who says I was going to run away? Maybe it was a holiday or something. I doubt it, Bella. You were becoming distant and jittery around the last month. Jittery, you say? Why were we jittery? Bella. I, I thought if I gave you enough space, then you'd come to me on your own. Well, from what you had previously said, we were going to have a heart to heart. Yeah, I still feel bad for not being there when you needed me, though. I promise I won't let that happen again. You're stuck with me for life. Oh, Amber, so sweet. And I wouldn't have it any other way. We hug each other tightly before ordering our food. The air between us, now much lighter. We reach my apartment exhausted and collapse on the couch. <sighs> I'm beat. Same, we had a pretty good time today. It's already dark. Definitely, they went really went shopping all day. Amber rests her head against mine and we enjoy each other's company in silence. Just her being here is enough to bring me comfort. I seriously couldn't have asked for a better best friend. Also, it's cute that like since they weren't close before the accident that they're rekindling their friendship and they can kind of have this new experience, which I love. Amber's a really good friend. So what's the news between you and those hunky brothers? That's what we're trying to figure out, Amber. That's why I'm reading this right now. Just keeps getting more and more complicated. I want answers. Ooh, spell. I tell her everything that I found out about Leon and Aiden so far, and about the complicated relationship I seem to have with each. Amber listens intensely to the whole conversation, a sympathetic expression on her face. I'm sorry that things are that messy right now. Oh, girl, I wish I could help you pick up the pieces. You being here is already more than I could ask for. Well, from what you've told me, there are a lot of secrets. I play there's so many secrets. Both brothers are holding back information for whatever reason. I'm a bit salty about that. Why are you holding back information? And I could have, well, not me, you know, Bella could have your baby. How could you hold back information? If you want to have a friend who's a good private investigator, oh, we're already going there. I can ask him to dig up some details on the brothers. Should I accept? <sighs> I feel like going with the private investigator route is you are just going above and beyond, but at the same time, I feel this calls for, I'm accept this help. Thank you, Amber. That would really put my mind at ease. Oh, Amber, really any information covered in the future, plus, you know what, whatever, we're doing this. Those boys are sketchy. Something is off about Leon and Aiden. I don't know about him, so. I'll get into contact with him tonight. I repeated the distract us this week. Excuse me, as we cast curious glances at each other. Someone is knocking, oh. <laughs> I thought someone was knocking on the window. Someone was breaking in. I was about to be like, oh no. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Could you please get the door for me? Amber strolls to the door, taking her sweet time before she finally opens it. Oh, good lord. I don't think I've ever seen someone look more sad and pathetic. <gasps> I tilt my head to the side, wondering who she's insulting. I don't have to wait long, though, because Leon enters the living room holding a bouquet of roses and a photo album. It's honestly the cutest thing I've ever seen. Leo? His cheeks flush a tint of pink, and he casts a nervous glance to the ground. Hey. Well, that's my cue to leave. Amber reels me into a big hug, almost squeezing the life out of me. Try not to let him exert you too much, huh? Oh, he might look like a soft teddy, but I'm aware he's a grizzly bear in bed. I gape at her in surprise as she winks impishly. Remember, she's pregnant. <laughs> Ensure your baton doesn't shatter her box. <laughs> you are so seamless. Amber sticks out her tongue while leaving the apartment. I love Amber. I forgot that she has no filter sometimes. Leon places the bouquet in my hands, a sheepish smile occupying his plump lips. They really had to throw plump in there. These are for you. They're lovely, thank you. I put the flowers in a vase and set them on my dining table. What's up with the photo album, by the way? Oh, this. He blushes briefly, taking a seat beside me on the couch. No one keeps photo albums anymore, so I thought it would be great to have our pictures developed. Hopefully seeing them might bring back memories of us. How do I feel? touched. I don't feel guilty about anything. This isn't our fault. That's very considerate of you. I'm deeply moved by your efforts to help with my recovery. You're a good man, Leo. Are you, Leo? I want to believe he's a good man. He's handsome. He's ready. We know some certain things about him. The baton. But 
I can't help but, sh- like, I can't shake these dark vibes I get about him. For some reason, something's off. One of the brothers, I don't know which one it is, somebody's off. I don't know who. We're gonna find out. His gay softens emitting an incredible degree of devotion. You're welcome, sweetheart. So why don't we have a look? Of course, I'd love to. I flip to the album and stop at a photo of Leon with his arms slinging over my shoulders. We look so happy. Where was this taken? Our first date. I took you to see my favorite stand-up comedian and you absolutely hated it. Why am I beaming that? Because I accidentally spilled water all over my jeans. Everyone thought I peed my pants. I burst into laughter imagining the scenario in my head. You think that would be the worst part, but the comedian saw it. Oh no, and started making pee jokes while everyone laughed at me. Oh my gosh, that's priceless. Oh, poor thing. I playfully pinch his cheeks, earning a frown from him in return. Do you maybe remember it? No, I'm sorry. Leon clears his throat, seeming a little dejected. How are you dealing with the morning sickness? Oh, we're really just changing the subject. My mom was telling me it's pretty bad during pregnancies. How is that morning sickness? It's it's not that bad. Was it bad? It was kind of, it was bad. It's okay. Surprisingly, I haven't been having any nausea, vomiting, or issues with food consumption. The baby has been really kind to me so far. I'm glad to hear that. You're practically glowing. I can't control the huge smile that appears on my face. Knowing we're having a baby on the way. Well, (laughs) is it your baby? It brought me more happiness than you could ever imagine. We used to talk about having children all the time. I think it started about two years into our relationship. Okay, remember that, y'all. Two years into their relationship, they started talking about kids. I don't know why I feel like I should, like, remember some of these points of interest. We truly were in love. I still am crazy about you. A sadness washes over his handsome features, pursing his lips into a thin line. There's a razor-sharp pain in my chest seeing that heartbroken look on him. Should I comfort him? I mean, sure. I know it hurts right now. It kills me just as much not being able to remember the people. Um, <laughs> the people, the brothers, um, the person I love for all those cherished years. Not even that I've missed a lot in everyone's life. And I feel disconnected from everyone. I'm sorry you're suffering too. The truth is that my memories, um, well, to be frank. They seem to be triggered with actions rather than words or images. My doctor recommended that I re-experience things from my past. It could help recover some of the memories. Actions. Actions. Such as. What should I do? You know what? Just go for the gold, girly. Give him a kiss. I gaze deeply into his big, beautiful eyes. Clasping my hands on his cheeks, I lean in and gently press my mouth on his. The restraints passion is electrifying a flash did you get a memory oh she got a memory all right i'm not blushing like a tomato while he tilts his head in confusion it's too uh yeah yeah he perks an intrigued brow slanting his muscular build closer oh and the, oh, oh 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 what's about to happen here leon maybe we go cuddle I can't show the other option, y'all. I'm sorry. There's a glint in his irises as a smile tugs on his lips. That sounds perfect, sweetheart. You're gonna have to wait. We lay down on a couch a little rigid at first. When he gains more confidence, he's gliding his arms, nuzzling into her hair. The warmth and the scents are intoxicating. I can't believe how lucky I am to have such a good man holding me tightly in his arms. Is he good, though? That's the question we're all wondering. Within seconds, he, oh, he fell asleep, burying his face into my neck. Um, I'm gonna need your eye. Oh, I love you. Oh, he said the L word. It's really not that shocking because they were together for years, so. He mutters lowly, giving the impression, oh, he fell asleep that fast, I'm jealous. I listen to his heartbeat and steady breathing. Being in his arms feels so natural and secure. Okay, okay, maybe he's not. Maybe the dark vibes I have are wrong. I find myself drifting into a peaceful sleep surrounded by his warmth and security. Maybe it's the other brother. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's a parent. Maybe it's another friend. Who? Maybe it's our character. Maybe she's the crazy one. Who knows? I wake up to a blanket and a cushion supporting my head. Leon is nowhere in sight, which puts me in a glum mood. When I sit up, I see a note neatly presented on my table. Oh, it's from Leon. 
The note reads, Dear Bella, I'm sorry I couldn't stay due to work. Although I enjoyed having the absolute pleasure of waking up to you first thing in the morning. You have no idea how much I missed that. I can't wait until our next meeting. I love you with all my heart. So he's throwing the I love you out there too in person. Yours and forever will be Leo. Okay, Leo, he's being very sweet. How incredibly sweet of him. I locked it into my bedroom drawer, ensuring that I never forget it. Heaving a sigh of exhaustion, I reflect on everything that's happened in such a short span. My life is getting crazier by the minutes, and now you add two hot brothers to the mix who are equally worthy of equally. Equally? Aiden hasn't really showed us the equal yet, but okay. Dating Leon and Aiden at the same time, how do I feel about this? Girl, <laughs> you should be feeling guilty. You're dating two brothers. You are guilty. I know Amber talked me into this, but I still have an ounce of guilt for going through with it. I really don't want to hurt neither of the guys. Oh, yeah, we were going to date both of them now. Yes, I remember it's coming back to me, too. They're both amazing men. Regardless, this is the choice I made. And considering it's been helping me recover my memories, I can't regret it too much. Realizing that I haven't texted Leon a thank you for the note, I quickly fish out my phone and type in a thanks. I decided to make myself and the baby a special breakfast as my mood lands. As I'm frying the bacon, okay, oh, my phone buzzed too. Alarm me to a text. It must be Leon's reply. I turn the stove off and check the message only to see it's from a number I didn't recognize. Hello, Bella. Just checking in to make sure everything is okay considering you canceled all your appointments. Huh? What appointments are they even talking about? I speedily type in her. Okay, she's waiting for the answer. I'm sorry, maybe you have the wrong number? Is this Bella? Yes, it is. Oh, it's me, Miss Lane. Leslie Jones. You're a couple's therapist. We got a couple's therapist. My what? Excuse me? Okay, so maybe my little feelings are correct. Maybe there is something they had a couple's therapist. In this next chapter says we learned something from Leon. So what's the tea, Leon? What was this relationship really like at the end before this amnesia happened? I need to know. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you've read in the future, no spoilers. If you have any opinions, though, or anything like that, or what you think is going to happen, I'll leave it in the comments below. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if I should keep reading this. Tell me in the comments. Like the video so I know you want more of this story. But I hope you guys enjoyed it again, and I hope to see the next video. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Bye, everyone.